When I was a little boy, I loved Star Wars and Star Trek. I was a big fan of the stars. And long before I was a teenager who pretended to fly around space on the Enterprise, I was a kid who pretended to fly around space on the Enterprise. Well, today on Tabletop, I am an adult who pretends to fly around space on the Enterprise. Because my friends Jessica Chobot, Jamie King, and Jesse Cox are here, and we will turn this studio into the bridge of the Enterprise. We will all assume roles from the original Star Trek series, and we will work together to successfully return home from our very own Star Trek five-year mission. Star Trek Five Year Mission is a cooperative dice placement game by David E. Witcher. It is set in a science fiction universe that I'm kind of familiar with. We are all officers on the Starship Enterprise, and we are working together to survive a five-year mission. Whether we are from the original series or the next generation is up to us, but today we have chosen the original series. Playing next generation is just a little too meta and weird for me. Each player's character has a different special ability that should be helpful on the mission. For example, Captain Kirk can reroll dice, Uhura can give dice to other players, and Sulu looks magnificent when he's fencing. Oh my. Today, we are playing on Lieutenant Commander difficulty. So to win, we need to resolve at least one blue, one yellow, and one red alert while scoring 14 points. If we fail five alerts or the Enterprise is destroyed, we lose. Hey, nobody said this would be easy. We're in Starfleet, we don't lie. We will all begin with five dice. One yellow, two blue, and two red. We'll also start with one die of each color in this common pool that we will get to access during the game. The five-year mission really comes to life and imitates art in the various events that happen when we draw certain alerts. For example, if I draw the Vulcan nerve pinch, I'm gonna choose one of the crewmates to immediately be injured, just like on the show. If we have to put the shields up, the Enterprise takes one damage. At the start of my turn, I draw a new alert, and then I will deal with any effects it may have. Then, if I have less than five dice in my dice pool, I get to replenish up to five dice from the common pool. Finally, I roll my dice and try to resolve any of the alerts in play. For example, I've drawn the sheltered world. I need to roll a three and a four on blue dice to resolve it. But what happens if I roll a three and a two on the blue dice? Well, when that happens, I will take that matching three and put it on the card, and then the next player can try to finish it by playing a four that hopefully she rolls. If she isn't successful, the player after her can try, and so on. There's a few other things that can happen on every turn. There are some specifics with the way dice are rolled, but we'll explain them during play. Just like the real Star Trek universe, we all have to work together because the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. Where will we go? What will we see? Will we seek out new life and new civilizations? Or will we find ways to roll statistically improbable numbers that doom us all? Well, let's boldly go where lots of nerds have gone before and begin our five-year mission. My name is Jessica Chobot, and I am known as the host of Nerdist News at Nerdist.com and all my video game craziness for throughout the years and as a host and creator of Bizarre States Podcast, which is my little baby, all about creepy stuff. I'm Jamie King, and I am an actress and a writer and a director, and right now I have a new sketch comedy series called Attention Deficit Theater on CWC. I'm Jesse Cox, and I am known for being that guy who always loses on Geek and Sundry. I, I, I do more, but that's what I'm known for. I'm that guy. 
Thanks, Internet. Everybody, welcome to Star Trek Five Year Mission. Uh, we're on the original series Enterprise, uh, which uh, it's very controversial for me to say this is my favorite Enterprise um, because I lived on the Next Generation Enterprise for a while, but actually, it's my favorite. Um, let us tell the kids at home who we are playing, starting with, I think we'll start with you because you're the captain. Yes, I chose Captain Kirk because I like leaders and everybody needs a great captain. My special ability is I get a one time on my turn, I may pre-roll all of the dice of a single color. That's super helpful. Yeah. Is there a Mr. Spock at the table? Do uh, we have a that, Spock? That would be me. Oh, fantastic. I'm playing Spock because someone has to get this under control. I know what happens on tabletop. It's a bunch of nonsense and then I lose. My ability is one time on my turn after resolving an event, I can take one of the die that's on one of those cards and move it to another card. I'm gonna micromanage everything that happens on that board and so help me, I'm walking away and not sitting on that damn couch. I'm Dr. McCoy, once on my turn, uh, I may use one of my blue dice to heal a crew member's injuries. Uh, that lets me remove injury dice equivalent to the value on the blue one. Uh, I don't like transporters. I'm old and cranky. I am suspicious of you. I'm suspicious of you. Yeah, well, which is entirely appropriate. <laughs> mm -hmm. He has a real problem with how Vulcans uh, just are so cold and emotionless and has a great rivalry with Mr. Spock. It's perfect. I'm gonna be able to play into that character because of the rivalry I have with Jesse Cox. Whenever we play together, we strive to defeat each other like any good arch nemeses would do. So last season, Jesse just declared a beaten and defeat and Will Wheaton alliance in the middle of a game. Oh. Now we're forced to be yeah. together. Now we're forced Either to be on the same, or team, lose same team. Together? Yeah, it's weird. But we both have beards, so clearly this is in some kind of mirror <laughs> universe. <laughs> Obviously, we're the bad guys. <laughs> I'm not real comfortable being on the same team as Jesse because it means to take him down, I'm gonna have to also lose. But now Jesse is also thinking to take me down, he is also gonna have to lose. And I know how much Jesse wants to win on tabletop. I'm taking no chances. Before we started, I had a conversation with a box. I proposed to you a completing Starfleetin' pact with Will Wheaton. Look, I won't judge the fact that your cover is a parallel universe where the old generation is talking with the new generation. I won't even judge that. If anything, I think it's clever. Clever enough to help me win, maybe? I feel like we're on the same page. I feel like it's happening. And I hope that uh, it all works out. And Jessica, who are you? I am Lieutenant Sulu. Previous to this, I was practicing playing the game and I ended up having uh, Bones' as character, but I'm gonna be honest, I hate being the healer. I just don't like being the healer. So I switched over to Sulu because he had kind of a cool ability where he was able to, if you picked a bad card and he didn't like it, he could go ahead and put that one back and pick a different one. Oh, that's good. Yes. Yeah, that's actually yeah. really good. That's I mean, especially good times. if you're drawing one of those yellow alert, make a red alert card thing. Yeah. Happen. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So right. that's what I was thinking. So um, I kind of love this. When you start the game, the first card you put out is this card called To Boldly Go, Your Five-Year Mission Begins. So Jamie, this yes. card will already be in play. Okay. Uh, then you can draw, uh, draw an alert card. You can actually draw it from any of the decks. Uh, and uh, and go because you're uh, you are our captain. Lead us. Whoa! Whoa! We're going straight oh, to red alert. Whoa. This is crazy, dude. Oh, so my first card, I pulled a red alert just because I like the pressure. Game on. All right. So this is sick bay. Um, luckily, uh, it doesn't have any immediate effects, which is great. When we have to roll a one on each color dice to uh, to resolve it. So uh, go ahead. Highly illogical. <laughs> <laughs> One. Wow! What? What? Two. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah. One. Yeah. And you're Captain Kirk, so you can reroll your red have... dice. Yeah, I am. Nice. Oh. All right, that's cool. All right, that's well, don't fine. Be sad. Uh -oh. I mean, Come like, on. Yeah. We did uh, good. You get two thirds of the way through to complete a sick bait. Now, would you like to reserve any of those dice?
Yeah. Oh, you mean just plan ahead? He's yeah. just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're okay. Kirk, so you don't need to. And you yeah. probably won't. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay. You'll okay. just take your dice and throw them across yeah. the room. Yeah. And be like, okay. Forget this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. um, so we come around. Uh, we come around to Dr. McCoy. I mean, we. I guess we could go. go we could table. go in numerical order, but that wow. sounds like super confusing. And letting Jesse go next. Wow. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're just going to have me <laughs> go next. Um, wow. I'm going to make things a little bit easier oh. and we're going to go. It feels like your feelings hurt because you have no feelings. <laughs> you get, you right. get upset. You get, you get no emotions. I am half human. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, God. Here comes the human <laughs> side of Spock. As everyone knows, Spock is only half human. Uh, that is his inner turmoil, and that is why he is such an important character to the lore and to the story. And if you didn't know that, I question why you're even watching uh, maybe you should be watching Star Trek instead. Take a moment, pause, we'll still be here. Go watch the series, come back. I would love it if I rolled a one on a red die. That would be great. That would be great. Oh, oh you guys, yes. you guys, you guys, look what's happening. Okay, first of all, oh, I complete nice. the sick bay oh, you, die. Yeah. So now, this comes away, yeah. these yeah. dice go into the dice pool, right? And I get to take this. This means that I can use it to heal an injury. Um, so we're gonna score this card. And check this out. You just clear, mm. To clear the court martial, I have to roll a two or lower on a red die, which I did. Bones. I have to roll a two or higher on a blue die, which I did. Rolling that gets rid bones. of the court martial, what? right? Plus, I rolled a five or higher on that die. That goes away. I'm not, I'm not useless! Okay, this is either the greatest thing that has ever happened, or this is as good as this game's gonna get and we're all gonna go down in flames. Being from Star Trek, naturally I would think that he would come out as a leader and just do something amazing. I think we just call the game right now. I mean, I, mean, I feel like we should just stop. That was so impressive. Episode over. Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, good, all right. Good Thanks thing. for watching. Thanks for watching Table Time. I'm gonna go to the winner's wall. <laughs> it took allying with Will to make this happen, but I'm gonna walk away a winner today. All right, Mr. Sulu, oh, uh, geez, you no. have the con. I'm gonna play it mediocrely yeah. and go with it. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna go straight down the middle. All right, pre-warp culture. Oh, and it's a uh, thingy. This uh, Federation logo means that this is a prime directive card and it must be resolved before we can resolve any other alerts. Uh, uh, here's the thing that you might wait. wanna do. You could yeah. redraw that if you don't want to. If you don't want to do this card. Oh, look oh. at Sula's abilities. Oh, you know yeah. what? I mean, yeah, oh, let's just do it. Yeah? Heck All right, yeah, okay, great. So yeah, we will, uh, we'll just put but this back But I have to pick down. it from the same deck, yes. right? Yeah, so go All right. ahead. Or rather, I mean, yes. Yes. Oh, please don't be bad. Oh, oh you're the worst to change to a red oh, alert. <laughs> and the Enterprise takes a damage. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right, so here's what, here's what happened. Immedi well, immediately, can, we have to chain to a red alert. Then the Enterprise takes a damage. I don't even know why I didn't like that original card I pulled. I think I just wanted to show off. So uh, we literally just left. We just left. Yeah. We left I like know, space dock and then just <laughs> immediately. Like, like, okay. It said boldly go, not like meteor. Uh, te go. Go. They're Tentative scraping go. the hole as they go yeah. through. <laughs> All right, Sulu, roll your dice. Oh man, please don't make me suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. No, I got ben. nothing. Sulu. Sulu. Wow. Wow. I kickstarted the game. All right. I kickstarted us right down the bottom of a hill, full of failure. You know what that was? The universe seeking out balance after my turn. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The yin to his yang. Yeah. Okay. Let's what do. What are you gonna do? A uh, blue. All right, which changed to a yellow alert. Also, it's a communications failure. Ha! Ha! <laughs> we immediately draw a yellow alert card, which thankfully does a chain, but it makes the Enterprise take a damage, which is bad. Uh. So the Enterprise gets hit. We take that second point of damage. That means we only can pull out of the yellow pack. We really need to spend a red die to reduce the damage on the Enterprise. If we don't do that and get back down to one or zero damage, we're gonna be drawing at least yellow cards, which is very likely going to keep chaining to red alert cards, and we're all gonna die. We aren't even away from Earth. We just left the Star Dock. 
Now we have a communication failure. Until this card is resolved, we're not allowed to talk to each other. Um, Whoa, I thought we were taking that out of the game. No, no, it's super in the game. The only way that that will break. It's super the in the game. <laughs> yeah, it's all no, kinds of in the game. We're super taking it out of the game. No, super. Because it's going to wouldn't be interesting for, for the audience. Yeah, no, we're super. Oh, it's real. It's right now. Way, it's all kinds of in the game. No communication. Not even musical. The universal language. None of it. You can't hum. You can't haw. In a production meeting, we talked about taking the communications failures out of the game because it could create something kind of boring and weird to watch where none of us are talking for an extended period of time. Essentially, having any sort of actor or artist be silent is a very bad idea. I've never been more thrilled. The power of this show is mine now. I can't, I can't even believe it. They invited me back for a third time, a third time, and I finally have control. I'm gonna exploit this. All right, <clears throat> the communications failure is in effect. <laughs> There's a dad camera outside. Okay, oh apparently I was, it was also an oxygen Lord failure knew. for me. I was holding- The gods knew. <laughs> yeah, there's no way in hell we could last that long without talking. Okay, all right, okay. So, all right so the communication failure now. has been resolved. Yeah, all right, let's do, do it. this. Yeah, and, right. okay. Oh. And, uh, uh, and that's, that's it, I think that's yeah. all I can do. Uh, oh, captain, my captain. Our ship has been wounded. That's yeah. okay. Let's get more. All right. Yeah, let's get more points. Wow. There we go. That's worth the point. Nice. And a red oh, alert, too. Red alert. Oh, my God. Uh, if we fail this one, the Enterprise takes two damage. We, okay. we are, okay, we are okay, still okay, in the solar system. <laughs> well, but we're almost out. We have made it past Saturn. This is the time on the show where I would uh, just sort of open up and drop out all my Uranus jokes. Uh, I will not uh, foul the air with any jokes about Uranus. We State are line. very close to Uranus, and I'm not okay with this. That's my joke for the day. I'm done. That's good. That's good. That's for you, six-year-olds. <laughs> six-year-olds, ask your 12-year-old brothers and sisters why that's funny. <laughs> um, okay, so now, Jamie, now you can roll your dice. We can clear off a yellow. That'd be real helpful. Hey, way to go! Nice! Good work! All right, okay, so these come off. Done. That's all right. You cleared off a thing for us, which is that super great. Up. This yeah. comes up like this. All right. And uh, now I've got to replenish, and it looks like I really need to be working on blue. So I'm going to take blue and one red. Is everybody cool with that? Cool, Leo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I'm going to just re-roll this because it's not helping. Well, hang on. It might be helping. <laughs> Oh, Christ, who shuffled these cards? Oh, man, we're out. Choose a crewmate. That crewmate is injured. If failed, Enterprise takes one damage. Jesse, you're injured. Yeah. <laughs> I knew before you even <laughs> drew that card. All right, so I got to take one of mine and put it there. Yeah, yeah. You know, a good friend slash doctor <laughs> yeah. immediately cure me. You're in sick bay with, with no pain oh. medication. You, basically, you just have a lot of paper cuts. Oh, God, that's <laughs> in, in, a, in the future with no paper, <laughs> yeah. I stumbled on a paper factory yeah. and just <laughs> fell in. <laughs> yep. Apparently, th everyone's decided that I have paper cuts. That's the injury you wish on someone you don't like. I thought we were friends. Part of me wants to heal him because Jesse's such a nice guy, and part of me wants to push him into a vat of lemon juice just to see what would happen. <laughs> I know where I stand on this ship. I know where I stand. That's fine. That's fine. Nobody appreciated Spock until he was dead. Spoiler, Spock died. And then came back to life like Jon Snow. Spoilers. All right, so I'm going to hold on to this four because of that. <laughs> this is rough. I don't think I can do anything. <laughs> Good at all, you guys. Kind of karmic a little bit. Having second thoughts about uh, Will leading this ship, which is why I chose the Captain Kirk card, because I can always rely on myself. Well, I mean, I can, can, you do, put your, yeah. I can do that, and I don't have any, unless I'm missing it, there is nothing else I can do. So I'm gonna heal you for three wounds. Three paper cuts. <clears throat> 
Three of your paper cuts are gone. And then you yeah. take this as well. That goes back into there, into there. My turn, which was terrible, <laughs> is over. Every time a fourth card comes up of one color, you fail the oldest alert in that row automatically. We are now looking to automatically fail either a yellow or a red alert. But yeah. I have to draw from the yellow pile. Yeah, because okay. we're still damaged. And, and it's madness. At the beginning <laughs> of each turn... We have space <laughs> madness we act, we totally have space the madness. The active God. player is injured. Okay. So I'm injured. In Star Trek, you have the mirror universe, which is full of the evil versions of all of your main characters. We are from a mirror mirror universe, which is full of the incompetent versions. We have space madness. Uh -huh. Okay. That's kind of a bummer, but what's a real bummer is that for whatever reason, we were unable to successfully fire phasers. I don't even think we set them to stun. I don't even think we set them. When I was on the Enterprise, there was just one button, big red button, it said fire. I mean, I don't know what's on this particular starship that's so incredibly complicated that we are not able to fire the phasers. You got a paper cut uh, on your why. finger and couldn't push the button. Wait, I'm not the phaser guy. I'm well, the one who stands around well, and judges hey, all of you. I'm not the phaser guy anymore, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna say it. We are not a good crew. I caused none of this. I was doing my job. Everything I put out, I ended up getting rid of. I'm just gonna put it on Jesse. Jesse's taking us down. Wheaton. Wheaton! Wheaton! Okay, well, I'll just. You could hold that. You could hold that too because two. that works there and it works there. Yeah, let's hold the two. <clears throat> we're gonna have, guys, we're okay. just gonna have Space Madness for a little while longer. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. Everybody's a little we'll crazy fun. anyway. Okay, so How are we doing? five, two, oh, no. Okay, no, nope, that's cool. You got rid of the deadly entity. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's okay. All right, cool. We got that. So yep. that and uh, this. Uh huh. Oh, so guess deadly what? Deadly entity is gone and we get a point. And we get a point. Yay. Bravo. Right on. We have and two then, points. Let's Sorry, see. we have two points now. I think that's Boy. it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Spock. Okay, let's do this business. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me it's right now? Communication failure. Are you kidding me right now? How are you gonna replenish your dice? That's a great question. Sir? I'm going <clears throat> to It doesn't look like we need a lot of yellow, so I'm gonna just forego yellow for now. And go three red. <clears throat> Hi, Internet. <laughs> I've just realized what a lot of you realized several turns ago. We drew the Tholian Web, which is an urgent card. When an urgent card is drawn, we have to take this timer, turn it around, and resolve it before this timer stops timing, which is approximately three minutes. So, not only do we have a communications failure, but if we do not resolve the Tholian web before the timer runs out, not only will we not get a point for it, but we will lose that alert, which moves us nearly halfway to mm -hmm. Bad News Bearstown. Okay, are you ready there, Mr. Spock? And uh, we're on. Yes, Captain. So remember when I said I was gonna exploit this? Well, <laughs> turns out I got three minutes to do whatever I want. I'm gonna do that. Whatever I want. So, we're just gonna wait. Hmm. You know, when I was a kid, uh, you couldn't buy glow sticks. You could only get them in amusement parks. And they would glow and they were cool. They were only green. Has Jesse gone yet? You know, straws used to be made out of paper. And they were uh, paper, and they were covered in wax. Uh, sometimes you'd get icky little wax bits in your drink, and that wasn't fun. That was like, that was, that tasted bad. Are we still waiting on Jesse? All right, so more story time with Will. Um, To understand the history of the expansion of the Soviet Union into Eastern Europe, we really have to have a fundamental understanding of basic economics. Resolve the f***ing guard! Oh my god! My, my teeth are sweating! Oh my god, I'm so hot! <laughs>
I was trying to make it like an episode and dramatic. Ah! With only three seconds left, they did it. We're still You're not allowed to talk. We're still in a communications failure, but we completed the filming web. <laughs> Warp drives are dead. We are definitely not getting out of the solar system. We've got so many demands on the cards that require you to roll like perfectly precise rolls that it's just not going to happen. There's no way we're surviving five years, let alone 30 minutes. All right, here's the truth. There's been a mutiny and the Enterprise was taken over by red shirts. I'm fairly certain we've gone through our entire library of royalty-free music at this point. And I'm gonna declare the communications failure uh, 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 not resolved, but honestly, we have to be able to talk because I, this it, is excruciating. <laughs> Take uh, it as a failure then? Uh, Look, the internet's gonna be honest. You, they, they, they hate me already, it's fine. I'm also gonna heal you. Sweet. So Thanks. you're healed, you're healed. Yeah. Great. Actually, you know what? I'm going to heal you with my sick bay card. Okay, sweet. You're yeah. healed. Okay, yeah. great. Wait, hang on. I've got this. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to yes. 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 fix a little bit of enterprise damage. A little bit of enterprise damage. Okay. Um, and I can't do anything else. All right, go ahead. Okay, so one, two, three, two. And also we failed this. Okay, so we have two failures, but I'm not really thinking about that because I think that we're going to win this. And i got to pull yellow. Okay, it's another oh. urgent thing. Okay, so one, two, three, I would say two, two blue. All right, here we go. Okay. Man, I'm the worst at that. Okay, six, five. Okay, so five we'll put here. Mm -hmm. um, ah, three. Mm, no? Yeah. Well, three if you put a three and, and a less three. than five together, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scare me! Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I scared myself. Uh, three. Okay, I think. Okay, I think I'm done. But now we fail communications failure. Great. We have three failures, but I am the captain, and I believe in our fleet. So in game terms, we're in real big trouble because we are now chaining alerts, which means we are chaining failures. It's just this perfect storm of failure. But in narrative terms, uh, what has happened is someone walked down to the engine room and went, hey, what does this do? And pushed core eject. Oh boy. Hold that off to the side and pray this works. Oh, get out of town, Charlie Brown. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna set those aside there. You do not gain entrance three to the magic castle. All right, we All right have a, we but have... I am gonna do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good, good choice, one. good choice, okay. That's cool, we're fine now. We've we've regained control of our ship, and I, th I think things are looking good now. Things are really looking good for us. I think we're gonna be fine, we're fine, things are fine, everything's fine. I'm fine, it's fine, I'm fine, how are you? Oh, jeez. Alien Control does have the best picture in the entire the game. The best picture. <laughs> the the best enough. picture in the entire game. Exit. All right, now I have to start the timed thing on that oh, one. Boy. All right. All right, Captain. Oh, 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 cool. oh you're that one right there. Yes! yes. That's a point for us. Well, that's. Okay, hold up. Garbage. How would it? How would it? That reroll, though. Still nothing. Oh gosh, and now I have to draw a card. Uh, injure the crewmates to your immediate left and right. Sorry guys, you wow. each get injured. You know how every once in a while Spock would lose his mind and just pummel someone mercilessly? I wanna do that to this game. That's where I'm at right now. I, what do you even do? What do you do? I'm gonna. Time is still ticking away. It sure is. As the sand is falling, I'm just seeing the Beyonce lemonade video, Sand Castles, where she's crying. All right, here we go. No. Well, that's useless. Hold on, wait a minute. That's useless. Wait, that's nope. No, that's that's, that's, that's not that's, useless. <clears throat> okay, hang on. So, nope. It, 
that time is running no. out. Oh, yeah. That's what you get for talking to a game. I thought it was crazy before. I'm losing my mind right now. So the Dude. first thing we do is prepare the Enterprise. Okay, our warp core was in danger of breaching, and it turns out that you can just seal that up with some gum. I can heal a crew member's injuries. Uh, you have two injuries, so I'm gonna yes. heal your injuries. So, oh, heals her. that's uh, illogical. Heal hers first, because then she can roll more. Great, I heal your injury. And, uh, okay, go, quick, go, 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 go. Go, 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 you can drop, you can drop, you can drop, you can you can drop, 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 you can press buttons that apparently were never explained in the series and save the day. I can't do anything. I just have to sit here and watch as Sulu crashes the ship. Talk about feeling like a kicker at the Super Bowl, right? Where it all comes down to you and you might win this thing and or at least survive this thing. Go, 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 go,
Like, I mean, I don't even know what to say to you. Yes, we were super incompetent, uh, but uh, like you could have been a little less dickish about destroying us. But you got a trophy and here you go. Star Trek five-year mission, you win the Tabletop Trophy of Awesome! Now this looks like the 1998 Bareback Championship uh, trophy, but it's not. It's actually for you, Star Trek. Um, and uh, here it is, here you go. If you wanna make a victory speech, Star Trek, you can do that. I agree with everything you just said. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, be nice to each other and play more games. Get out of here.